In the last video, we have seen an example of how you can take your source code as and uh, deploy it, uh, it onto OpenShift uh, by using a uh, process called uh, source to image where we picked up a builder image which is a PHP and we put the source code together OpenShift built an image for your application based on your source code and the build and, and the build image it pushed the application image into a repository that is running on this OpenShift environment and then it took that same app same application image docker image and it uh, deployed that as a pod so we have an application that has the php front end running as a single pod and this is that pod right this is running your application the front end and we also have a database pod that is running your mysql data. so now let's look at how this whole thing comes together like as a developer, you need an experience where you can uh, uh, make code changes frequently and you want to push those code changes into OpenShift and let OpenShift deploy those code changes seamlessly without worrying about all these things that are happening behind the scenes, right? So let's see how the entire workflow from a developer standpoint would look like in this video. First thing, we'll go to builds and let's look at what is here. So the source control repository is uh, uh, mapping to your GitHub. And then what you see here is triggers. And here you will find a GitHub webhook URL. Let's copy that. Now take this webhook URL, go to your source control repository and configure it there. So I'm, I'm, I'm on the GitHub uh, for my project and I'm going to settings here. And uh, in settings, I see the webhooks option and I want to add a webhook. Now, I'll paste my URL here and then I want to disable SSL and I want to add the webhook. Now, we have configured our GitHub repository now to push the code changes in if any or commits to this repository if any to the OpenShift environment. Now let's test that. I'm going back and let's uh, look at the application. It looks very bland. There is no, it's just displaying the users from the database. There is no formatting, nothing. So let me make some small change to this dbtest.php. I'll go to the place where it is displaying this data and uh, I'll edit it, make some small changes. Like I want to say the user ID, I want to display this before each user ID and username for each username. And there is a mistake here. I want to fix that. I want to include a line break here. So let me commit these changes. I'll say added labels. And before I commit, let me show you what we have here. Under the builds, you'll see there is one build that was done before, right? Now what you'll notice is once I commit these changes, an additional build will, will get triggered automatically. I just committed the changes. And I'll come back here and see. GitHub has pushed those changes to OpenShift using that webhook URL and uh, it automatically triggered a new build here. See that? Now this build process will happen just like before. So I can, the build name is dbtest2 so I can look at the logs here and see what's going on. It has, by this time it has actually built the image and it has successfully pushed that newly built image into the OpenShift's Docker registry. 
once the build is complete the pod is updated with the new code changes so if i now refresh my application my changes are here it's as simple as that so to summarize what we just did i took the webhook url and i configured that in my source control repository and as i'm making the code changes and committing those code changes to the github which is my source control repository using that webhook the source control repository or this uh, pushing the changes to openshift and openshift automatically triggers a new build and it uses the same php build uh, build image to complete the new build and it will push that application image into the openshift's docker registry and once it is pushed it will trigger a deploy process again and uh, once uh, and it will take the newer image of this application and it will deploy it onto uh, onto this pod and the new changes are seen here thanks a lot for watching